Hey, what's up everybody? I am Snows and this is your boot sequence. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. You're now a teenager, 13 years old, and I can't believe how much you've grown. Did you know that YouTube started as a dating website? Yeah, it's hard to believe. Now YouTube is apparently starting to crack down on multi-channel networks again. They've created a new rule for them called the 50-90 rule. MCNs like Full Screen, Ritual, and BBTV are once again purging some of their content creators, and it's not the first time. This time though, it's because if an MCN has 50 abuse events, aka copyright strikes or violations of guidelines within 90 days, they lose the ability to partner any other channel for a certain period of time. This policy is called the Know Your Customer Policy, and MCNs are pretty mad at YouTube. Honestly, I don't think YouTube is doing anything wrong here. MCNs often just partner up with channels, suck them dry, put them in impossible to break contracts and never contact the channels again. And if they do get 50 strikes in 90 days, good on them. That will teach them to veto their content creators and maybe have them communicate more with them. Anyways, moving on to some hardware news, the green team's got something cooking in the oven. The upcoming flagship gaming GPU will apparently be named GT104, where the T stands for the Turing architecture. With 3584 CUDA cores running never before seen GDDR6 memory, and apparently a core clock of around 1.6 GHz, the compute performance is expected to be around 13 teraflops. That is ridiculous, but also a rumor. This comes from WCCF Tech, and they also report that Nvidia will want more of your money for this card, around $699 for the launch MSRP as compared to $599 for the 1080. If the rumors hold up, that's about a 51% increase in performance compared to the 1080, and about 20% compared to the Ti. Personally, I don't think I can trust these rumors. It sounds way too good to be true, except for the price hike. Not that price hikes are good, just that they probably are going to happen. What do you think about these specs? Doable or is it just rumor season? Let me know down below, I'd love to know your opinion. Moving on to some more hardware news, we've got some new NVMe SSDs from Samsung. Dubbed the 970 EVO and 970 Pro, these SSDs are a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of performance. Sometimes it exceeds its predecessor, the 960 EVO and Pro, and sometimes it's a little slower. All in all, NVMe's are fast, and the main difference here is the fact that they're offering a two terabyte variant for under $1,000, 849 in fact. That's 42 cents per gigabyte. That's crazy cheap. And now for a little segment I like to call In Case You Didn't Know. We got Google changing up Chrome and this time they're touching my tabs. The new material design refresh will apparently incorporate a more square and round tab look. Sort of more like squares with rounded edges. I don't like it. No, I prefer the angles that Chrome had before. Apparently, they're looking into overhauling the whole Chrome experience for Chrome OS. These changes will of course affect Chrome everywhere, including on your Windows machine. Now in gaming, Epic Games seems to be trolling Fortniteers. The Meteors seems to have appeared more and more, we already talked about that, but now the rooftops of Tilted Towers are littered with conspiracy theory-like items. I mean, look at this sign where it's written today only to be crossed off and marked tomorrow under it, kind of like they were leading us on to the whole meteor crashing thing. According to data miners two epic buddies on Twitter, it seems like the small meteorites have hit cars on the map. I really wonder where Epic Game is going with this. It's really weird to play with your players like that. Speaking of cars, Amazon wants access to yours. Their new service will allow delivery boys to deliver straight into the trunk of your car. This will actually be a part of the Amazon key service once it's established. A collaboration with GM and Volvo will allow the service to launch in 37 cities across the US, and the feedback from beta testers is actually pretty good. If you'd like to see some testimonies, well, link down below. I'll have a YouTube video that shows some of them. The advantage of this service is to allow safe delivery of your package without having to spend 200, 300 bucks on fancy smart locks and camera systems. But this just seems creepy and weird in my opinion. 
One of the testimonies was a guy saying that he could leave one of his cars as a lockbox for Amazon deliveries. Why a car? Just why doesn't Amazon make a lockbox that's big enough that costs, you know what, a hundred bucks and that would be perfect. Now, I already told you guys that YouTube has turned 13, right? Well, would you believe me if I told you that I uploaded my first video 12 years ago and that it has 17,000 views? Here's a super short snippet because I don't want you guys to find it. All right, enough humiliation. That is it for today's news. Click here to check out the last video and right here to subscribe to Boot Sequence. Don't forget to leave a like too if you would like, I guess. And click on that bell. I mean, it's you click the subscribe button, boop, it appears right here. It's like a one centimeter transition to get to the bell. Just click on it and it'll be good to go. Once again, I'm your host, Snows. Stay frosty and I'll see you on the next video. Ow, that hurt my finger.